Would you guys got another video here for you on how to upgrade and install PowerShell 7 on Windows 11. So first off, type PowerShell in your search and click yes to the user account control here. And what we can do here is we're going to take a look at the version of what PowerShell we have on this system. So you need to type out this command here. I'll leave these in the video description for you. So you can just copy and paste them in. And once you've done that, you should be able to see what version we're running. So dollar sign PS version table dot PS version, and then push enter, and it will tell us what version we're running. You can see we're running major five, and it also gives us the build number, and it also gives us the revision here. Now, Microsoft have a table which you can look at to tell you what these mean. So you can see right here, it goes right up to 7.5. That's the latest version. But we're around version 5 here. So we are using a version from 2016. So let's go ahead and uh, download the latest version and get it installed and upgraded on this system. It's quite straightforward and easy to do. This is method 1, and you can do it from the actual PowerShell window. So we're going to install PowerShell here. So first off, we're going to tell it to basically download uh, the PowerShell from that link right there. So you need to type out this command. I'll try and leave this in the video description. Sometimes in the video description, it doesn't allow me to put brackets in there, but I'll try and paste it in there. If not, it will be on my website. So what we're going to do is once you type that out, push enter, you'll see a little blue bar pop up there, which is pretty normal. And then you can see it's now reaching out to GitHub and it's going to now pull in the PowerShell 7 x64 setup now you need to push next and choose the destination where you want to put it i'm going to click next and now we want to check mark all of these because we want to disable telemetry and this also will need a reboot and a restart and we want to add a few extra options on here as well so just make sure you check mark all of those once you've done all those you can move on to the next bit by clicking next Click next, and then we want to make sure on the next page that we uh, leave both of these check marked as well. So leave both of those check marked, and you can see it says recommended there. So we're going to leave those done. Click next, and we can now click on install, and this will go ahead and install PowerShell 7 on this system. Very quick and easy to do, and it's always best to use the very latest versions of PowerShell. So we're going to allow this to update, and there we go. That's now done we can now click finish i do like that little graphic image there it looks quite cool and uh, now that's done we can now close this off now if we look down in the recommended section here you can see powershell 7 has been installed correctly and if we open up our terminal you can see that we do have powershell 7.44 so that is now installed so another way of doing it is method 2 which is downloading it straight from github this might be easier for you to do it this way so I'll leave a link for that in the video description. All you need to do here is go down and click on the latest button. But you can see here, there's loads of information on here. You can read about all of this stuff if it really interests you. If not, then just go straight and click on the latest version and it will take you down here. And now you can choose which version you need. You need to make sure that you're getting the right version, which is the Windows X64. If you're running that version of Windows, click on it and it will download it. You can click on this and then install it and you will see that same installation. Now I've already installed it, so I'm not going to go through the installation process again. So I'm going to leave that one. Now there is another way of doing it as well, which is method free, which is using Winget. You can use Winget to uh, install all your latest uh, packages. So go and open up a terminal by right clicking and going admin and then running it. You can see we're running PowerShell 7.4.4 and we're running as admin. All we need to do here now is type out this command and we need to put winget space install space dash dash id space Microsoft dot PowerShell, just like so. And then you can push enter and this will go off and install uh, the latest PowerShell for us on this system. I've already done it, so I'm not gonna worry about that too much because we've already done it. But what I'm gonna do now is restart the system and I'll, we'll see what happens. So let's go ahead and close it off and restart the system. And this will make sure that everything is installed properly. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now because it did say we need to reboot the system uh, before it will display we're running the right version. So let's go ahead and do that. It shouldn't take too long. There we go, we're back at the desktop. 
And what we're going to do now is open up a terminal and uh, I'll show you what version we're running here now by running that first command that we did. So let me just quickly do that. So you can see now it will tell us that we're running the latest version. So let's go ahead and quickly type out this command right here. So it was that dollar sign PS version table dot PS version. And you don't have to type it out. You can see it's all grayed out there. You can skip that and just uh, basically it will automatically type it out for you. So you can see major uh, seven and we've got minor four and then patch four. So we are running the very latest version on this system. Anyway, that's pretty much it. That's basically how you can upgrade your PowerShell and install PowerShell 7 on Windows 11. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this video has been some sort of use to you. If you like this sort of content, then let me know in the comment section down below. Also, give the video a thumbs up if it does help. And I'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Thank you.